Twitter. Penisland.com. Yeah, go to penisland.com. It's great. <laughs> oh, I just seen what? No, no. <laughs> Way around my legs. I've got a 33 inch inside leg, but then somehow I get to see what's the other one. <laughs> the other one's part of steel, actually. You go um, around in circles. <laughs> yeah. Pathé's version A Day in the Life of. I love Pathé videos, they're awesome. Mm, strange um, porn, though. <laughs> <laughs> not, not unusable. But. Hello, and welcome to the Pro Detailer Podcast. Today, we are joined by here, nonetheless, of James O'Keeley. Hello. And Aaron of Seely. Oh yeah. And uh, today we've got a action-packed schedule. We it had been a bit of a while since we've been back on the mics. Um, we did give it a go, but it was after a, a, a boozy lunch at a pub where we had a pint each, which is pretty much was it in its limit. Pretty much. When I had a shandy, I was right off. Yeah. I'd have, I'd, I'd, I'd have. I think I was just over enthused that we were actually sitting in a pub or outside a pub in the sunshine drinking beer. Again. Cold shine. Yeah, there was a lot, of, a lot of noise. It was kind of awkward, though, because as a foursome, we were joined by Little Richard, and uh, it, we, we were the noisiest table in the whole garden. There were only two tables in the garden, to be fair. No, there were 15 people, though, I counted. I saw yeah, but they were all in the marquee, so that doesn't count. That's the dance tent. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so the good news is we're back, and because we've been away for so long, we've got loads to talk about. Um, I want to kick us off with, well, we, we went to a brilliant little charity event at Starnagloss, which is kind of on what I call the sort of Dodo Empire. Basically, Dodo Juice have um, a massive, great industrial estate at Elzenham, uh, where there are lots of other cool things happening, like the Crankalicious Bicycle Range and Cambridge Concourse and stuff like that. Well, also, Starnagloss is there, and Cav from Starnagloss was very uh, heroically doing a 24-hour car wash exercise um and we took james's lovely bmw which I, you can talk about in a second thanks and we cruised uh at about 45 miles an hour um that's not true but yeah, well it wasn't it wasn't speedy we were doing 70 when we could you know m4 was rubbish yeah, well yeah i mean there was a long 50 and then any point did you get stuck in the Suez canal halfway uh <laughs> no tried you run evergreen down the side of it. Hey, we'll get on to that was the thing that happened in the news, wasn't it? That yeah, was the thing. it was a hey, while ago. Current affairs. Well, current affairs. But let's, let's tie it back to canal boats. And your BMW, which one was it? Uh, it was the old girl, the E34 or 520. Mm-hmm. She still hasn't got a name. She hasn't got a name. I have to admit, I, I like older cars, and I particularly like cars in the 90s and noughties. And it's, it's a funny way of saying shitter. <laughs> Um, James, it's amazing how much smaller because a five series now you're, you've got an E sixty one five yeah. series, which is palatial. I mean, you can you can not only lie back, you could have an orgy in that car, and you wouldn't be touching any interior surfaces or other people. Or yeah, quite. That's my sort of orgy. Um, however, your Bimmer, we were almost touching knees over your gear knob for most of the route. There, it is so much smaller. Yeah, they're not. Um, I don't know. Were people smaller back then? I don't know. Plenty of leg room. There's loads of leg room. Well, old people are short. I mean, there's a little old lady in my village. She's barely four foot. Rich is old. He's small. I mean, there's. There, I think people were smaller. He's had his vaccine today. He just is. Got, just bless t- him. Bless me. So he's got out. I, go and get your vaccine on a motorbike. Strikes it's me. It's really unwise. He's finally being addressed. Yeah, but <laughs> still. <laughs> I mean, if you you know if you need blood in a an operation that gets delivered on a motorbike. No, but there's irony there. <laughs> there is irony there. Yes, just do depends on the container. Yeah, that's right. Do they do organs as well as or is organs? Yeah, I think, so. I think they've retired all the Rover FD Hops ones now. Yeah, oh, I remember Hops that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pianolas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I just I just worry about him because if he's going to react to his thing, and some people are reacting, not that you should dissuade you from taking it, but it's it's your reaction. I am an outrage to this vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> if he's got to come all the way back from from Bristol on that massive great motorbike, and the motorbike is bigger than him. I mean, you say all the way back, he lives about fifteen minutes away. I sp- well, if he's going at speed, nah, but it's he's, not a bit, he's a bit wobbly on a Friday afternoon anyway. Let alone after yeah, being be right. injected, he'd be alright. Well, if he doesn't make it, I suppose you want his motorbike. I want his vaccine as well. Yeah, <laughs> just extract it back out of him. So just yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Just the no. blood. <laughs> yeah, we're back to giving blood on a motorbike. He's full again. of oxygen. He goes walking. He gives blood as well sometimes. My uh, um, my grandfather used to refer to motorcyclists as organ donors. It was very polite of him. Yeah, I he was a surgeon as well. Well, I had my I had my leg off in London. Well, metal pins stuck in it when I was young, and the, and the, the the story goes. The doctor kind of told me of another story, and he said, "Well, if it does complete the pot, we can get you a new one." It's raining today, and that was central London. So I thought it was a quite a. That's um, what hospital was it? 
I do not know. No. So was it my, St. Thomas? It might have been St. Thomas. Yeah, my grandfather was Royal Free Hospital, and yeah. that is exactly what they used to do. Friday, If it was a Friday night or a Saturday and it was raining, yeah, they'd uh, refrain from drinking alcohol, knowing that they'd be busy. Crikey. So he'd be going to work. God, a doctor refraining from drinking alcohol. It must be serious. Mm. Um, so anyway, we've, we've diverted slightly. But yeah, um, as we, usual. We went over to Elsenham, and uh, Cab was working away. He had a sort of a media crew there of... Uh, it's not a, no, you can't describe them as a crew. They were a crew. Were, were they? Yeah, they were a media crew. Because they were playing ghetto music and stuff. There was lots of drum and or bass. A drum and or bass. I was, hey, watching, I was watching the live stream from back here, frankly. At least I twice. At least twice I said, hey, do you remember dubstep? <laughs> <laughs> Seems it's still a thing down there as ways is. Well, I, I shot in there trying to take photos and I was on my 35 mil, so I had to be quite close. And then they all started laughing and I got a bit paranoid. So I switched to my 135 mil and started taking photos from behind so they couldn't laugh at me. And I don't know if they were laughing at me at all. It's just my own paranoia. But um, no, well, they, sure they were. Likely. They were yeah. very trendy. What I noticed having watched the 24 hour feed that it kind of on Sunday morning kind of just tails off. I think they're probably. To watch all 24 hours. They've gone to sleep. <laughs> was that your Sunday? <laughs> oh, it's exciting. Um, but big congratulations. Congratulations, Cav. He raised well over three and a half grand, or over two and a half grand. One of those two, but many grands. Um, and uh, I think it should be applauded. Uh, that yeah, I haven't got a sound there. effect for that. I mean, <coughs> that just that, that doesn't no. seem right. But no, well done. That's well done. ironic. Well done. We do we do clapping, clapping. God, um, it felt like Steve Wright show then, didn't it? <laughs> it did somewhat. <laughs> well, yes. Are you going to start singing over songs as well? But no. God, I hate him. Anyway, um, I don't listen to Radio Two. It's too jazzy for me. It's too modern, isn't it? Too it's hip. There's no. He's going to move this microphone a little bit because I'm shouting. Uh, the, 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 the conversation yeah. I can't get ready to conversations. They talk about topics that I have no interest in, um, like but, current affairs from sort of post 1998. No, I listen to the Today program almost every day of the week, which is current today or this day in. <laughs> <laughs> Pathé's version, a day in the life of. I love Pathé videos. They're awesome. Yeah. Um, I follow them on Facebook. Um, so strange um, porn though. Yeah. <laughs> Not not unusable, but uh, right. Okay, well, I'll I'll, I'll take Those your word ankles. on that one. Um, but so we did that, and then we had a long chat with Simon at Cambridge Concourse, which was great. Um, he doesn't age that man. Simon, no, I think he's one of those sort of. Um, who's, the, who's that? Who's that famous that doesn't age? There's a famous that doesn't age. Like Keanu Reeves, he didn't age either, does he? Tell you what, I remember. My doppelganger. Well, no, because you've aged. So I've no, aged now. I've overtaken somebody thirty years older than did me. Did you? Did you used to watch tw uh, Twilight Zone? Uh, oh no, not no. It was oh, it wasn't Twilight Zone, Erie, Indiana. Oh, I don't know. It used to man. be on, it was like to be on thirty Channel years 4. ago. For I know, me. It used to be on Channel Four, but there was uh, one episode where the mother kept her two twin sons in Tupperware beds. Uh -huh. It kept them fresh forever, and I think that's what Simon does. Was that like a grown-up version of uh, Round the Twist? Because that was horrible yeah, as well. The Cabbage Kids. God, that was yeah. awful. That program. Uh, we didn't get Channel Four until I left home. Is that when you got television? No, no, I didn't get a television when I left home. Just. Stuck a clothes hanger into his ear. <laughs> no, I had a decent little transistor radio. That's all a man needs. He had a, he had broad sheets, but on a roll, so that he could <laughs> sit there and animate them. I've um, got a zoetrope. Oh, yeah, the finance is going by again. <laughs> Quick. Well, no, Simon revealed he's turning. Uh, I, I think he's, he's heading towards a big five zero. No, he's the same age as Rich, so he is technically heading towards a big five zero. In the same way, we're all heading towards a big five zero. I mean, he's I'm definitely, not. He's definitely I, plan, I plan to stop far beyond. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> carry, carry on your current plan. path. I think you're going to be all right. <laughs> be a successful trip. Yeah. Um, no, he's not. He, yeah, he's the same age as Rich. Yeah, but he's he, nowhere near five zero. Well, he's only just forty. Yeah. Three, two. Anyway, uh, my point is that he, he, uh, there are photos of him from the 90s and he looks exactly the same as he does now. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very jealous of that ability. Um, and he had a lovely car. He had a Pagoda Mercedes in that he was uh, tantalising and he had, was it? Uh, for those that don't know nicknames, it was uh, 2AE SEL. SL. Yes. SEL. Lovely car. SEL? Quite a few of those in my day. Uh, no, SL. SEL. Yeah, 2AE SL. Yeah, different. Could so just one for sale. Different kettle of fish. 4 SEL? There was a 450 SEL, but that's a different car. That was a saloon. Yeah, and the SEC was pretty girthy as well, wasn't it? That was like the yes. big. That was the what the sledgehammer was made out of. The proper stuff. Anyway, enough yep. of that. Enough of that. Um, and yeah, it was a good day. So that was good. Yeah, and it was a good day. They uh, they gave the old girl a wash. Uh, he asked me if it was ceramic coated. To which I blushed, just smiled at him, and said, "No, it's Futurama," which was awkward. <laughs> uh, as it was parked outside Stiano Juice St Stiano Juice and I noticed that a, a, a PJ was there and he pointed out that uh, I think it was a dodo towel that was being used yeah. having, no. but it's all fine they're all friends and co-owned and all the rest of it so it's yeah lovely. I mean you know there's there's other brands that have got premium it's brands or side brands and stuff like Citroen and DS have Stiano yeah. got a future honour 
They probably do. Yeah, but I, I think don't so. know. They, I, I would be surprised if they didn't put it that way. Um, but he had a nice little setup there, and it, it was quite funny because now and then, when a, a, a musical tune came on that he liked, he would sort of do a little wiggle and and make sort of sort of extra noise, like a, I don't know. Did you see the fancy um, sort of desk thingy he had with yeah. the products on? Simon yeah. made that for him at Cambridge Concourse. Oh, that's cool. It, yeah, what five or twenty five liter? I can't remember. Well, I can't remember. Five liters. On five liters. And I was he's too busy drinking really strong tea out of Simon's place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I got. I, I yeah, I went off and took photos, and then saw the tea, and saw it was criminally close to cold. So I just downed it in one, and then started feeling a little bit kind of worried and shaky. But I enjoyed it. Um, and then uh, yeah, so yeah, it was good fun. We yeah. we had a probably lead us on to the next thing. We had a long chat with PJ. Yes. Well, I was I was going to briefly mention how we then loitered in Harlow for the best part of two hours. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Interesting place. Yeah. You were on edge. Yeah, I mean, I've been there now. Yeah, exactly. Not not a holiday destination. I don't think. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, you've yeah, ticked I the box. Yeah, I don't think I need to. I don't. I don't, I don't think I need to go back. Did you, Did you check out the Lonely Planet guide before you went? No, I, I did. I do have an I Spy places. You know the I Spy books where you have to mark on like, like the cars Osborne you've seen things. And stuff. I don't know if it's Osborne or not. They're small, little A5 y things. Hang on, was that a joke? Well, Osborne's sort of child things. Oh, okay. Well, no, this wasn't it. But but strange enough, Harlow wasn't in my I Spy book of places. And it is a worldwide places, though. So, you know, it's going to fight hard with sort of Mogadishu and stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting place. Yeah. yeah. Some narratives in Mogadishu. Mm. Sun was shining. Um, Black hawks s- everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite. I mean, they've got McDonald's, so that's why we were there. They've got more than one, I think. Yeah, they've probably got about nine. Yeah. Still yeah, cool. and then I bet we, the mayor uh, opened it. We kicked Richie out <laughs> a, a motorbike, said motorbike, that he's gone home on. So uh, Yeah, we went to this little cul-de-sac, and then you and Rich both excitedly disappeared to go and look at this mm, silver motorbike. So it's silver a CBR XX 1100 Blackbird. Yeah. Fastest so. motorbike in the world in its day. Yeah. And then Suzuki came along and smashed it. Okay. Anyway. Well, let's not do that, because ultimately that just ends up with the BMW being the fastest bike, isn't it? The 1100RR or whatever you talked about. Uh, no, it's not. There are there are faster bikes. It's the fastest in its class. Oh, you class. know actually. You know, oh, okay. you know the turbo bike. Yeah. Was that at any point a f- the fastest bike in the world, or yeah. was it just the, the the only turbo bike? I'm not sure because we saw it. It. Um, yeah, it uh, was. Uh, which uh, one did we see? Because there's a few. Was it a Kawasaki GPZ 1100? Not GPZ. GPZ Turbo, or was it the Honda one? I think it was a Honda. Yeah, Honda one. I'm not sure because it was sure. a PS Spiker, wasn't it? We saw that. Spiker. Spike the Spiker. 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 I'm yeah, no, the, the, the current fastest motorbike bike in the world is the um, Kawasaki H2R, which is supercharged and 310 horsepower up to 100 miles an hour. What's the new M Sport? Because when it gets to 100 miles an hour, the air that's getting rammed through the front of the bike makes it an extra 30 horsepower. That's insane. I still like the motorbike with a helicopter engine in it. What? what? There was a the hel- mo- uh, motorbike with a helicopter engine? Yes. In yes. You chop your head off? Well, no, because you take the blades off it and stick that onto the chain. Well, how's it going to fly? Well, it doesn't. F- well, I, I imagine it probably actually could fly. It's a drag bike, and it put in it's a turbo fan on. engine. <laughs> yes, yeah, lipstick and a dress, um, and it's a good ride. I've been told it's quite scary though, which yeah, that tallies. Um, but yeah, that's a very Just cool describe my bike. Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> the drag bit, not the. In the old days, my yeah, old days, my Tinder profile started up with serial killer spelt with a C, love a crunchy nut, and yeah, I didn't I didn't get very many like thumbs up or whatever it was supposed to be. Anyway, romance. Sorry, no, I did not. M Sport bike. BMW M Sport. Oh, that? yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah, that? What's yeah, that? Yeah, 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 oh, God, yeah, yeah. You've, just, you've activated him. Oh. It's got carbon <laughs> stuff. Yeah, so Put BMW. It away, James. So the S1000 the sun, the are sunsets, so people can talk about motorbikes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, motorbikes get detailed too, and a lot of our followers and detailers are motorbike fanatics. That's true. Including Dave Whitehouse. Uh, you know, Tim third Bonford. shout out of the year. Yeah, Tim it's Bomford, he's a biker. Yep, yep, yep. Tim Bomford is he's a biker. Fi- he's he's used to, all the ones I, I require pro former on. Tim, uh, Tim used to have a, an extremely nice Honda. Actually, he had a SP2. Well, V12. No, more more importantly, he's had awesome Subarus. No, no, no. no he had a Honda. Oh, okay. What, what am I thinking of? Oh, okay. Ixnay <laughs> <laughs> on the ATM K. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So BMW released uh, an M Power motorbike, first one ever. Okay. And it's got like titanium pistons and lots of carbon fibre and. Is things. it real carbon fibre or is it fake carbon fibre with like a wrap over the top, like the roof? Do you mean? Do you, yeah, do you mean BMW's fake carbon fibre? I don't believe it. <laughs> was it fake Just carbon fibre or was it real enough. carbon fibre over the top of metal? Because I'm pretty sure that the carbon fibre was still real, so I suggest you back down. Well, I'm just following what and Ian told me to, the tell me to it. say. 
I stretch you back now. It's real <laughs> okay. carbon fiber. Okay, I'm fine. It wasn't a carbon fiber roof. It was a carbon fiber skin on, on top a of a normal roof. So okay. just slightly more pointless. <laughs> I mean, the uh, interior trim that looks like carbon fiber is actually described as uh, hydrogen plastic. 3D cube. It's not described as carbon fiber. It's, no, it's not 3D cube. It's not. It's described as rattan. <laughs> rattan weave. <laughs> so when it's old, it becomes ratty rattan. <laughs> Sounds like a UN diplomat. Um, or like a Birmingham reggae group. <laughs> yeah, could be one and the same. Yes. Ratty Ratan and the Easy Crew. <laughs> and now we're all going to prison. Um, so it was a great day. And this, as James alluded to not long ago, um, uh, brings on the next topic, which is a. I, I don't want to say it's a sore topic. It's a sad topic, which is the dearth of wax stock for 2021. But it was one that was always up in the air. Yes. I mean, I know that they, that I know that they they came out and said you know it's sort of 60, 70 percent going ahead, but mm. it, the, that the means whole, it's 30 to 40 percent. Yeah, exactly. The whole situation has been completely fluid from like I don't know how long we've been in this now. Like, uh, whatever it was, I 2019? Know. I didn't have a beard, and now and I look like Al-Qaeda, so quite a long time. And I have been having my cod liver oil and squeezing hard. Uh -huh. Helps it. Um, but, yeah, I, I think what's really important is to um, look at it. The, the, I was talking to PJ about it and explaining how, um, basically, because at the time the rules hadn't loosened, and we still don't know, I think today is the day when they're supposed to be announcing whether they do loosen or not. Um, or early next week, I can't remember. But either way, they're well, commencing from basis. Monday. I don't think yeah. it's going to happen. I don't think the June lockdown. The, I don't think the June easing is going to happen. I think. We're Bear in mind, when this is released, it will have either happened or not happened. So. Yeah. So <laughs> should, we, should we record two? Well, we record another version of this week. So it's definitely going to happen. I'm just edit it in. <laughs> you can now yeah. snog a stranger, or you can't snog a stranger. But Monday's happening, which will be the 17th of Wait, May. Monday, January. No, no, it's done. That is happening. Yeah. Monday's happening. Okay. Bar barring some kind of apocalypse. Well, that's what I was alluding but to. But June isn't. Right. I don't what think. What was supposed to happen in June? Everything. Everything open. Back to normal. As if it never happened. Yeah, so um, going in pubs with no restricted numbers, all that business. Yeah. But I don't L think it's going to happen, though. Well, they're already talking about holidays. I booked holiday to Ireland in September, which I'm desperately hoping. Desperately hoping I'd spend four, out, four, four, day, four hours in West Cork. No, four days in West Cork. And now I'm starting to get nervous again. Um, but, yeah, basically it revealed that in order to do wax talk, it was going to be four metre wide walkways, that the number of people there was something like limited to 800 and that 400 of those were going to be exhibitors and it just it, it ended up being it wouldn't have been able to be wax stock as we know it so it's well he said I mean, I'm, I'm, I have to say I'm kind of liking the sound of this <laughs> <laughs> four meter walkways you say <laughs> so yes. one person at a time you said <laughs> he basically <laughs> said that the top top 16 wouldn't be able to be in there yeah, no space for that you know there'd be no sort of uh, standing around and chatting to people and you'd have to check in at every every stand and yeah. you couldn't have more than have many people there, you know? It'd be yeah, it would, <laughs> Ian's it, pulling his bliss face. <laughs> yes, yeah, it wouldn't. Why is this going to ahead? people for a day? <laughs> so in a way, it was a brave decision to make it. And by the sounds of things, if if the lockdown ain't going to ease as, as quick as we thought, it's also the wise decision. So now let's yeah. not forget as well that. Oh, Jess, but it is a shame because I do enjoy catching up with people there. Do you bother? <laughs> <So, laughs> you barely. Joke you've said we're on we're this there program. from Saturday morning to the end of Sunday. You turn up. You saunter in for the breakfast on the Sunday. I spend at least ten minutes stand. every single wax stock taking the piss out of Nick Fisher's TV to his face. That is worth the trip <laughs> alone. It's always fair. much shorter in real life than I remember. <laughs> No, I tell him to his face because every time we meet him, it's like you're so much shorter than I remember. Yeah, he's and he probably tells me I'm so much fatter than he remembers, and we both laugh. And he still gets in his shit TVR and drives home. Well, halfway right. home. <laughs> That's really going to upset him because I don't think he's ever actually broken down on that. He's very defensive about it. Yeah. And I can't, you see, I, I'm very. I mean, that's because his before. has basically got a BMW engine in it. That's why it's still reliable. Right. Okay. Well, I don't know, so I'm not going to say anything. But speed six, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Well, his is. How is the speed six a BMW? Straight six, fast. Check, check. The, uh, the, the needs to rebuild every 30,000 miles it's, when it's know, not pretty fast. standard. Name another fast, naturally aspirated straight six that isn't a BMW. Oh, you put me on the spot now. Oh, come on, come on, we can do this. Uh, Jag? Nope, supercharged. Supercharged. Although they did non-supercharged ones, but they weren't yeah, particularly quick. I'm talking older. Oh, you're about like E-types. Yeah, they're fast. Yeah, 3.8, wow. 4.2. They were dangerous, they weren't fast. Um, damn it. Why, why do you have to spring that on me now when I haven't had a chance to consult my books? Because there won't be one. You can't think of one. No, I can't think of one. Because you're going to do What are you going to do? You're going to come back with a 2J. The 2J is only fast when it's... Turboed. Got a pair of turbos on it. Um, 
It's only really the RB engines, one, RB engines, they're kind of rubbish until they've got a turbo put on them. Right. The, the other way of looking at it is there's there's a reason nobody else uses them. That's because BMW do it so well. Yeah, that's the reason. I was You're thinking. just you know. That's it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, I, I prefer a flat six. Anyway, um, we really need to shorten that. Uh, yeah, it's a little that bit noise effect because it just sounds like white noise until it kicks in and people realise it's like it's a piss take of me talking about Subaru engines. Yeah, yeah. Well, we BMW had the, engines. Well, no, because I don't think much. Never mind, never mind, we're moving on. Um, so anyway, talk to PJ about that. And yeah, the, the potential to do like a little podcast or something with them in the future. Yeah, that'd be cool. about it. Oh, hey, hey, exciting news about the next few podcasts. Oh, hell yes. People. Super We've got exciting news. Celebrities. Celebrities. Actual, actual well, guests. Well, yeah. Pe- people we like. People we like, indeed. Interesting people. Though. So and that's going to be the thing. Uh, yeah. In uh, Drop in the comments on our Facebook page when we share this post. Any suggestions to future guests that you can think of, and we will uh, either say no or we'll look into it. I mean, yeah. we're not blind to the fact that we are generally quite uninteresting people, so to have interesting people on occasionally would be a bonus. It puts us in a bad light, mind, but yes, that is true. Um, so, yeah, well, in terms of people, we have fingers crossed, fingers, fingers crossed, crossed, yeah, all going well, allowing you know, COVID, asteroid attack, and all the rest of it. Um, we have next time we have maz which is cool so maz from garage therapy um cool new brand um who's got lots of interesting things to talk about and then the following week uh, we're actually reconvening at the pvd office because uh we are doing something else here for some reason and we've got kelly over kelly harris why are we uh, there was something going there's on there's a 101 here oh there's yeah yeah we've got training up in here um so, so studio is in use in use um, and so we've got Kelly Harris, and, and in fact, I'm going to see Kelly Harris on Wednesday because we've got a PVD. So there's a as a PVD member you can. Oh, what's the date for the Kelly Harris one? Uh, hey, we could do we could do a podcast from a pub, and have the background noise of the glasses of the clinking. Pub. Well, Ian suggested we do it by the river at my place. Yeah, then we thought the M4 is going to drown everything out. Yeah, it sounds more romantic when you say by the river and the hand yeah, grenades from Swindon and stuff, and the I mean, waters you know they, that no, the waters fair, don't reach. You've got an otter. We have an otter that only I've seen. And Does I'm, he have a pocket? I don't know. He he very very large rat. He bubbled. We have it's lots yeah. of rats. We've got is it chickens, an otter or is it just like a, a no? You it know, was an otter. This is this is what's going. To I'm going to have to reorganise all the CCTV just to point at the river. And and as soon as I've got scrap metal out the front of the house, suddenly I need to move the CCTV. To, to the be back fair, of the you can house. just wait until next next winter, and the river will be in front of the CCTV anyway. That it is will, true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. At the back door again. Um, but no, I saw bubbles and I looked down into it one morning with my. my is that what you tea. call it? No, I didn't call it bubbles. And I saw bubbles and they were moving and I was like, oh my God, it's an alligator. And I thought, no, no, don't be stupid. And it stopped and I thought, crap, it really is an alligator. And then this little head popped up and he had whiskers and ears and stuff like that. And I said, hello. He, I swear, nodded at me in a kind of manly hello. And then he went under the water and buggered off again. So we have an otter in, in my, my, my back garden. Are you sure it wasn't part of the, um, the Austrian Navy's frogmen de- deployed team with a little otter? Head on. Oh, is that where the mm. Ottoman Empire came uh, from? That's the one. Ah, uh, yeah. He is okay. Ottoman. Worst superhero more, in the world. How many more uh, incorrect historical references sorry. can we mix in? I don't know. Do otters kill cats out of interest? Because I was just um, wondering whether we need to keep the fence at the bottom of the garden or not. I don't know. They've got pretty sharp teeth, but I'm not sure it's they're as claws. quick across ground as cats are. They might do like yeah. alligators, grab them and pull them underwater and then do loads of Spin around. Yeah. No, because they need to breathe. Yeah, but they can hold their breath better, better than, than cats. Than cats. Cat, well, to be fair, a cat would hold its breath out of spite. Yeah, it would. Well, yeah. that would be an interesting test. Maybe for a future podcast, we find an otter and a cat, and a, and a you know, we'll put full safety equipment in place. Well, I've, I got, I've got a cat, but his nickname is Bubbles, so it'd just be confusing. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, you know, if, if cats had uh, skin like frogs, everyone would realise what utter bastards they are. No, I realise that. They'd also look like something out of Stingray. <laughs> oh, Marina. I remember Stingray. It was brilliant. Oh, Marius Marina. <laughs> um, so uh, yes, that's a thing. That's a thing. Doing and also, podcast guests next week. Your IDAing, isn't it? We're all oh members yes, of the we're IDA. going to the Eda. 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 Yeah. Uh, so next week, as part of the academy, um, obviously we have to keep ourselves in check because we do a lot of training and stuff with people. Well, we still do desailings. We want to make sure that we're still. There's a, joke there. There's a joke there. I'm not going to make we it. We can't restrictions. do the PVD assessments because we wrote them. Yep. So it's a bit difficult to be PVD Plus approved. Plus we probably fail as well. So. <laughs> probably would, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so we thought it made sense to uh, sign up with the AIDA, mm-hmm. with the IDA, International Detailing Association. Detailing? Detailers. 
Detailers? Uh, detailing. Ling. Detailing. Detailing. Association. Which is headed up by our very own Alarm. Long term. I know, it's Craig, isn't it now? PVD friends and friends of the MAG. Yeah. Uh, Alan Medcraft is vice president of the world. He's, the not, world. Pres- he's not president now. When's the president? No, but he's, he's going to become president. That's the whole point. Well, the inaugurations uh, next year, isn't Well, they have a big, a big uh, event. I thought he was vice last event. year, so he was president this year. Yeah, that's the deal. Um, but he has have, has a th- have they just written off 2020 like I have? No. As a non-year? No, I don't think so. Bear in mind, obviously, being American, they have a slightly different approach to the virus than we do. But no, they have got they have a massive great event every year. Big knees up and... Do they, do they and fly them to the White House in fun Lance One? I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so yeah, we've got our SV next week. So we did our CD. Uh, CD. Yes. CD. We did our CD, which was uh, interesting. We yeah. passed it. Mm-hmm. We passed it. That's all that matters. Um, and yeah, we've got our SV, which is skills validated, which is an hour long practical assessment to make sure that we are up to scratch to be it's members a, of the IDA uh, as skilled validated. As skilled validated, yeah. And hopefully, all going well, if we keep ourselves in check, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we can get our SV passed and get our badges and such on our uniforms. Not that we wear them, but yeah, and that's being held at G Technic with G-Technic Adam. Works. Adam, yeah, which is in Northampton. North Hampton. Hampton. Not to yep. be confused with Northampton Shear, which isn't that far away. Okay, that was a joke, right? No, because you know to get to like Silverstone from here is not that far, but to get to Northampton from here is like three hours. It's not. Let's drive faster cars. Um, so uh, that's all good. And then, yeah, tomorrow, which is a Saturday, I'm going down to quick shout out for Matt over at Dark Hound. Um, Dark Hound Auto Care. He's got himself uh, a new unit and he's doing a grand opening. Where is it? Uh, it is. Swindonia. No, it's not Swindonia. It's, it's not? further south. No, oh, it's, it's moved out. Yeah. Well, I thought he was Devon. Could I? Matt no, Coyle. he's not Devon. No, he's, he's, he's not far then? away. He's, um, he's Dave. He's Melton. No, Dave's Cornwall. Well, mm. Dave's, yeah, he's just over the border. Well, let's. <laughs> so where's Matt? Um, Matt is Wiltshire, and I in my head it's Melksham, but it might no, it's near the other one. Too. I live in this county, and I still don't know the the names of the places. Calm. No, but it's kind of Melksham and Calms. Um, it's the, the, the Tro Trobro Tro- 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 near Trobridge, yeah, Ooh, okay. and Lecoq Ooh. or Laycock. I'm going to do a photography Voxel a there. workshop down in Trobridge. Ah, oh, performance Voxel. Yes, as in the X the, future the title. Yeah. I don't know if it still does. I've been to that it workshop. Did. So yeah, they still do performance. But I mean, it's a bit yeah, of a misnomer it, anyway. Yeah, no, it's a Kelsey title now, I think. And I um, think it was performance Voxel, performance Ford, and all those. Were yeah, that. Yeah, uh, yeah, see, they were too mainstream. I read Total Voxel. Well, you'd be amazed which ones. I think Total was always a Kelsey one. But the no, when it was in Future Days, yeah, that workshop. I went there for Mini World magazine, and we had a I had a black classic Mini Cooper at the time, and we, did you? we polished that. I did. Yeah, I could oh, fit I into Mini this. Cooper. That's how lithe I was. I bloody love that car. White roof, black, white stripes, four fogs across the front. Um, and I made the mistake that everyone does when they're new to minis and put the mini sport wheels on a non-sport car and then... Yeah, sport the pack, I think you'll find they're called. Sport pack, yeah, sport so. pack wheels. Yep, you should have gone with uh, Star Mags. They're the ones for a narrow-bodied mini. I yeah. used to be into minis a little bit. Yeah. I didn't have one. But. I just had mini lights in the end. But it was it was the MPI engine, so it Boom. started. And Boom. then the heater matrix blew up. Yeah, I agree. Though. 1275 on twin carb. Yeah, that'd be the way to do it. But anyway... That was the only car I made profit on as well. Um, bought it to, to flip it, and uh, the idea of keeping it for a month or two kept it for three and a bit years as my daily driver. It's good to be in flip it, being your height. Yeah, quite. It would have ended up with no neck. It would have been awkward. Yeah, and it, it, but it was a great car. Apart from, we got a puncture, and um, I got the tyre repaired. My dad picked up the tyre, and then instead of putting it on the car properly, he put it on and then finger-tighted. The no, he finger-tighted okay. the four nuts. And I drove off merrily I off hate, to Winchester. I hate thing up nuts. Yeah, well, he obviously wasn't particularly brilliant oh. today because the wheel came off at 60 miles an hour. I'm impressed you got it to 60. Yeah, no, no. I've got a video of me and my mate Len. In, we brought it up Chesterfield Way in the snow, driving down a motorway. And we, we were <laughs> right. two... Right, first of all, was yeah. it the M62? No. Are you sure? Because if it was the M62, that's cheating. It doesn't count. No speed records made on the M62 near Saddleworth count. No, I think this was actually the M1 coming down. I think it was a bit oh, okay. later. Oh, okay. um, but we very nearly made three figures without wanting to, you know, self-incriminate Nah, I don't me. believe it. I bet on GPS you're doing like 74. No, I was using GPS as a thing because speedo was broken. Um, of course it was. And, <laughs> and, yeah, I think 92 was a figure uh, if, you know, it had been a German autobahn. But it was quite hilarious because the brakes didn't work very well. So we kept on shouting at people. Was it drums all around on that one? 
Uh, no, I had discs at the front. Little, Ooh, I think girl, fancy, girling, fancy. girling calipers, which I always <laughs> made me laugh. Um, so yeah, no, I love that. I can't remember. Oh yeah, that was the that cycles back to the um, future publishing workshop that was down near Trowbridge, which cycles back to how matter at Auto uh, Dark Out Auto Care is opening on Saturday, and I'm going down to do an interview, video interview, and take some photos. And he has a lovely Ferrari four five eight in as well. Oh, I might cruise down in the old girl. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. We're not, well, I'm we'll down from ten o'clock tomorrow. Ten till ten till two probably. So another interesting thing that happened fairly recently is we were able to restart the PVD practical assessments, which has been really good and a hell of a relief, to be honest. Yeah, it was uh, it was our day as well. I forgot yeah. how much hard work it was. We haven't done one for God knows how long. Yeah, well, two years? Uh, no, not year? two. Year. No, yeah, Mar- uh, year. yeah, year and a couple of months. It was, I mean, originally the idea was that we did them all in day with the written and as in the theory and the uh, practical. But in actuality, now I'm doing all the theories in the evenings and kind of when people can on over the Tinter web. Yep. We've got some really cool software for that. Um, and then um, we just do the practicals face-to-face. So we were, we were doing two sessions last Friday of yeah. three people each. Yep. Um, unfortunately, on the uh, afternoon session, one chappie's van broke up. Dave's van went pop, and so he couldn't make it. So we had a, a relatively easy afternoon, but we still went on until 7 in the evening because it would, took so damn long. Yeah, it's uh, it's easy to forget how much you need to fit in to these assessments because yeah. it's quite a... It's, it's a good quite, it's quite a strenuous. Hours. It's quite a yeah. strenuous practical assessment. It's not an easygoing one. No. Um, the theory is actually the easier part. In many respects, although I know more people talking to members, more people kind of worry about the theory, but actually... It's the practical they need to worry about. Yeah. Fr- from from results, it's yes. definitely the practical assessment they need to well, worry about. Well, we've had, I think we've had five or six fails on the theory, but a lot of those have been new members wanting to apply, and they don't quite make the grade. So then I just say, look, come back in six months, and we'll go through it and just, you know, work on these topics. But the practical, yeah, practical, we've had some fails too, and it's... It's always hard, but it's necessary. It needs to be. Yeah. The things are practical as you do get into your own little rut over the years of what yeah. you do, and it's very easy to not adapt to new techniques and ways of doing things. Yeah. The thing and is, it's, it's the, the, the sort of biggest critique that we had is like, oh, you know, who, who has the right to assess me? Well, you know, it was put together by three, four different people from the detailing industry from very different backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Then it was passed through a board, yes, and then it was fine tuned again, and then the board saw it again and actually did the test did the themselves. Test. They did proper beta testing, yeah. And then we started running it. So in theory, well, the combined experience of all those who've worked on it at some point is going to be in the hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and nothing, and nothing on it is to catch you out. No, no, that's, and that's the thing. It's yeah, we're not. Yeah, that that's. <laughs> Well, we do some. We, we do have to kind of explain that to people. Is that yeah. and and it's not that there is one right way to do it. But there is, each process has a most efficient and safest and effective way of doing it. Yeah, and it's also a lot of the questions, because the practical, there's lots of verbal questions. And the questions are, okay, so uh, this is the task, how are you going to do it? And th- there is, although there are wrong answers to that, that's not what we're interested in. We're then interested in people saying, okay, why are you doing that way? And if there's a feasible logic that makes sense, that's efficient and safe and, and all the rest of it. Plenty of latitude for that, it. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's the same with the pricing as well. You know, yeah. we ask, the, for the, so the brief for the, for the practical assessment is given, um, and we ask them to do a pre-work inspection on the vehicle, list their pricing, any extras that they would recommend based on that vehicle, and then basically submit the form to us to yeah. sign off as, you know, customer yeah. X. Um, we're never in a position to question people's pricing because everybody wants to charge different things. What we do want to know is how they got to that figure. Yes. Because we've had more than one. Because say, it's probably guys down the road. Yeah, charge. exactly yeah. that. Oh, it's what, they, it's what they charge. Oh, it's what that's the going rate in my area. That's not, you know, that's, that's not, not professional. Business. And it yeah. is the Professional Valets and Detailers Association. So... We want a professional, you know, my hourly rate is this, or this is how much I need to earn a day, these yeah. are how many I can do it a day. And don't forget, at some point you're going to get a customer that's going to ask you to quantify your price. Yeah, they want a yeah. breakdown, especially, I mean, insurance jobs. You know, people get cars valeted after an insurance body shop mm. job, and the insurance is going to want a breakdown of the pricing. Yeah, um, so, you know, this is overhead, this is the time it takes, and yeah. this is the cost it's going to be. But yeah, it's great to get back going again. Hopefully yeah. we can start uh, moving on, and like I said, we're doing stuff with the IDA as well, so, yeah, it's all you ticking. know, we're it's trying all to ticking. sort of... Uh, 
improve it, the industry. Yeah, exactly. And it's an, it's an interesting because the, the idea I was involved with when the IDA first came here back 14, 15, um, and the kind of the assessment side and the tests and was all the rest that of it. Long ago? It yeah. was. I've got a photo of me, and, um, and it's with uh, David Kendall and Paul Townsend and Nick um, and uh, one other, James Walker. And we were all sat, <laughs> it was just a, like, like a lineup. And I was the size of an elephant. And I thought, Christ, I was fat in those days. And it then was I later than that. I just thought it was like late 15. Late 15, 15 maybe. 15, 16. I, I can look it back up on the yeah, dates no, I put on, on, the, on the website. I'm but trying to convince myself I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> well, no, no. I'm well, not as old as you. Well, you're the same age as me. We've just I'm younger than the basically. So, shh. But the, um, no, it's interesting because the, the practical side on, on the idea is it's like an hour intensive hour and it includes things like machining and stuff yep. as far as I know. I don't know what it involves right at this current moment because it will have evolved. But whereas our one, we don't go anywhere near um, the machine polishing element. Ours is really to define the difference between an, an, a typical amateur enthusiast will not be able to pass it. But a um, professional valeter, it doesn't matter about detailing, a professional valeter will be able to pass it. Well, you know, machine polishing's a service offered by nearly every detailer but yeah. not every valeter yeah um but likewise there are basics that some detailers have stopped doing or don't know how to properly and for us it was very much of I mean interiors trying to, yeah, do yeah. Interiors. Do get, we were trying to work trendy out detailers who can polish but they can't yeah they you know, know we sat this, stains out. you know it's been years in the working this this pvd assessment structure I and mean, we were trying to work out what the requirements were for somebody to be classed as a car care professional mm -hmm. and being able to machine polish to the nth degree is not necessarily something that makes a detailer a professional mm. what makes them a professional is health and safety working procedures um customer business service. procedures customer yep. service chemical knowledge um, yep. you know and then processes and working um procedures yeah methodologies yeah and basic vehicle safety um and we also didn't want to restrict the association too much because we've got a lot of guys who are new to the industry that are joining mm. both the ida and pvd because they need help and guidance along the way so you know what's the point in making somebody carry out a three-stage correction when they're at the start of their career and they really want to yeah, and nail down the basics very well, which in my opinion is how a detailer should begin his journey. Mm -hmm. And it's how we teach it at the academy, is to build the foundations of being a good detailer by doing the, the health and safety work, knowing your chemicals, knowing the, the safety aspects of the job. Um, and then we can build on from there, because you've got that mm. sort of mindset to question everything. That how does this work? Yeah. Why does this work? And, and equally, you know, uh, anyone setting up and within six months they're offering three-stage wet sanding correction and all the rest of it, yeah. it's not going to end well. And we don't, that's, we want, you know, the entry into the industry, there is a baseline, it's necessary, but you don't need to be doing concourse vehicles straight off because, no. frankly, the majority of the work is not that. No. Um, but anyway, so it was really interesting. And what's fascinating is, is the people coming along, those often who struggle are actually like veterans of 10, 20, 30 years, um, not just the newbies. The newbies are actually pretty good at swatting up and, and um, you know, sponging in information. And it's the practical where you, where James, for example, can identify an experienced valeter. We had one guy who was a, a dealership valeter for many years, and he was so automatic doing Scott. His, Scott, he was brilliant. Yeah, I like Scott. Absolutely so brilliant. Scott's actually from up north where we are, but he's in Cornwall now. Yes. And we're in Gloucestershire. But yeah, Scott was... Scott had, Scott's career had basically started the same as mine had, and he'd, he'd done that same sort of... Um, you know, fleet car washing, sort of mm -hmm. main dealer car washing. And when it came to the PVD assessment, it was obvious because it was, like you say, it was... it was Slick. It yeah. was just automated. You know, yeah. he, he'd done the process so many times correctly that now it was automatic and everything he did was on point. It was quick and it was mm. of a high quality. But we've had loads like that that haven't necessarily had that background. True. He was just one example. Um, yeah, it's um, good. Atom Detailing. Yeah, Andrew. Up in Sheffield, Andrew. He was another one. You know, it was effortless. But, you know, it's not about singling people out. Um, there are guys that <laughs> are... just singled two out. Yeah, no. <laughs> for the best reasons. But we've had guys that have struggled on the day, but have left understanding that because they've been doing it their way mm. for 10, 15, 20 years, 
now they're going to change their processes and actually become more efficient, earn more money. Yeah, and it's, you know, and be less laborious. And everyone as gives, well. gets constructive feedback. Yeah, they yeah, can I mean, either choose to take it on board or carry on with what they're doing if that's what suits them. Yeah, it's just like you said, that it, means that the association doesn't suit them. It's in our interest to get as many people on board as we can. But in the same respect, we also need to be keep the standards up. Keep the know. standards up. So you know, if it was a if it was a just pay your money and get through the task without much labour, it, it wouldn't would work. Pointless. It'd be absolutely pointless. And it's been done by you know all sorts before. So yeah. yeah. No, it's interesting. And we'll be doing a, a road tour and setting up possibly satellite sites and, and just sort of expanding that in due course. So watch this space for that one. Yeah, basically re restarting the. Uh, you listen. Can't, you can't watch this space. That's very true. Listen, listen, this space. Listen to this space listen to us coming in your but ears. basically carry on the work that we had just started when the country got locked down yeah yeah we've done seven or eight days i think i out. think so i can't remember yeah. but we've got to do scotland we haven't done scotland yet and i really want to get up to up to edinburgh or glasgow or renfrew i just want a battered haggy some full sugar iron brew oh i can't have the iron brew i'd be way too worried about all of that um but anyway anyway um moving on big news very big news. Um, we, as you may or may not know, have been, a big news. Have, have been a little slow getting the um, website, uh, well, getting the new issue ready for people to order and buy. And that's because we've been very busy and we've built a new website for dedicated to the Pro Detailer magazine. So it's always hung on the back of the... We've nearly built it, let's, let's face it. We've it's, built it. it's mostly there. It's mostly there. We're doing testing and then we fiddle something and then it all goes kaplunk because... Strange Dis enough, disclaimer, dates may or may not change. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be postponing this podcast until it does actually work. So Subjects to stay. Yeah, yeah, and at the moment... It's, it's a nice, simple, easy to navigate website where you can basically get the mag. And the big news is you can now subscribe to the mag on a kind of endless subscription. So you don't need to worry about ordering it every year and remembering and all the rest of it. You just sign up and it'll it'll automatically do it for you. So it's terribly clever like that. Um, and also you can get all the back issues and the mega pack and, and a bit of merchandise. We want to expand the merchandise. We've got all sorts of ideas for that. Um, any suggestions always welcome. Um, but the uh, that will be out in, in the space of a week or two, I promise. There we go. Ish. Ish. A week, yeah. week or two from when? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Not a cop. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, that's clear. <laughs> um, so that's good. And we had a little question aru. And as ever, before the mag, what we tend to do is have a big mull about what mega tests to do. And we look back at what we've done. So we know we don't want to revisit what we've done quite yet. Um, and then we look at what we could do. Something simple like buckets. That'd be nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> mega test of buckets. Uh, this bucket is bigger than other bucket. Yeah, this will, this will fail because it's got a hole in it. Oh, it's a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Can't um, see in this bucket, it's black. So we got, yeah, we've got various other things. We've got ideas like microfiber washers, many more microfiber washers than there were that time. I mean, I've got a. Hey, um, we could do microfiber cloths. That's a terrible idea. That's Ignore terrible. that. Don't do that. Terrible. Ignore that. Terrible. I didn't say that. Yeah. Edit out. Well, we've got, because we've got Envy Car Care's uh, Super Duper uh, um, microfiber wash. Can you can't got, remember its name. No, I can't. It is Super. No, it is. It's called Super Duper. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. I think so, or something to that effect. Probably not in the northern accent, given he's from Gosport. Well, he lives in Gosport. Um, but the there's loads in there. There's, there's HD Car, Car Pro, HD Car Care, Nanolex, which is my favourite. Um, the not PB, PB and J with. Um, Oh, Lake Company. Country have yeah. got one now. Have they? No, Rug Company. Yeah, Rug Company. Company. The Rug Company, Rug Company. with PB and J. I wish they had different coloured logos and websites. Yes. <laughs> and I wish they weren't from the same town. <laughs> they wish they didn't have. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Did you Are we sure they're not the same? <laughs> did you try and do the logo quiz I did over lockdown? That, oh, I don't remember. I've slept since that long, then. That, the one with all the different colours in it. Uh, well, I didn't try and do it because you. We kept never had anybody actually to try win that. No, we had we had a little prize all together for it, but nobody got one hundred percent. So if you scroll back to April last year on the uh, Facebook page, yeah, that's still up there. I think. Interesting. I, think I was busy gardening, <laughs> growing veg in my garden. Um, yeah, so uh, we've got we're, we're we're musing about that. We've also so we basically what we're looking for is suggestions. Yeah, uh, suggestions for a mega test that you guys would like to see. Uh, drop it in the comments. We've had a few ideas. Yeah, drop it in the comments. Uh, ring that bell. Don't forget to subscribe. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, subscribe. ding, et um, but uh, Join Bert's uh, fans only page. Uh, a couple of nans? Nans only? Nans only. Desk fans, fans only. only page. Nans only. They're blind, uh, blind nans only. Oh, desk fans only. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a feature on Penn Island yet? So I watched it. It blew me away. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't get it. Penisland.com. Yeah, go to penisland.com. It's great. <laughs> oh, i just seen what... No... No, I'm not <laughs> going to go there. Not after your last I recommendation. The other one. <laughs> I've heard you go to Penn Island on holiday every year. 
No, I go to the Republic of Ireland. <laughs> Or try to, um, but no. Because uh, uh, a couple of caveats on mega test suggestions to avoid disappointment. Firstly, if we've done it, we probably won't be doing it again for a while. And secondly, if it's story of my life, yeah. <laughs> my life, my life. Um, uh, we're not doing ceramic coatings no. before you all get no. frobbers on and getting all giddy with yourselves. We're yeah. not doing ceramic coatings. Um, a few reasons. Um, there's there's too many different types of coatings out there. Mm -hmm. So a ceramic coating is not just a ceramic coating these days. And along with that, there are millions of people using the phrase ceramic sealant or ceramic coating on their bottles when they're blatantly not. And I am not going to be that guy that publicly ousts people for lying well, that's about you set their up products. That, that's why you set up that alias. Yeah, but he's not been out for a while. That's true. True. So, yeah, we're not going to do ceramic coatings. It is way too uh, inflammatory and long-winded. We'd need to do a ceramic coating issue. Yeah. Not just a ceramic coating mega city. It would have to be an entire issue of the mag explaining all of the actual tech that goes behind it, the chemicals that are used. I'd have to go to Germany and um, take yeah. Andreas up well, for a really, seafood we'd, dinner we'd, yeah. and all sorts of <laughs> it'd stuff. It would be hard. A couple of laps in Nürburgring. Yeah. The... The, well, we've already talked to... I've made communication with Hang two universities minute. at the moment, actually, for electron uh, spectrolysis, so that we can actually... Electron microscopy. 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 Um, microscopy. Microscopy. Don't. You're going to confuse me now. I'm going to go up to the clever... Microscopy. Microscopy. So, <laughs> you know, and so we can actually look inside these things, because that's what we want to do. If we, we, I'm not saying we're never going to do it. I'm saying that if we do it, it's going to be a big deal. We're going to do it properly. It, it's more likely that we will do... Um, a technical insight into what ceramic coatings are and how they work. What we're not going to do is compare them to each other mm. because there are, even within brands themselves, there are coatings, like Labo Cosmetica, for example, they've got three different coatings. Mm -hmm. They do three different things. Yeah. Um, we haven't got the facilities. They do two different things because one is, one is a combination of two. and but, then yeah, but That itself is then a third thing, isn't it? It is. Um, and... We haven't got the time, facilities, or space to physically test all attributes. combinations yeah. of attributes for products. Sure. And again, paint types and stuff, it's, they're, they're all different on different paint types. So it's, it's just not going to happen. And cool. let's not forget as well, it's entirely pointless now because you can buy a five litre bottle of uh, ceramic, fast ceramic that lasts for three months. <laughs> Pro Detailer Car News. It's all about cars, uh, specifically our cars, and there has been great upset. And you'll never guess what. None of my cars are broken, apart from the one I broke, which we'd talk about at a different point. But more importantly, uh, Ian, can you give us a lowdown of your birthday treat? Actually, that went on longer than I thought. It was it was much flatter than that. Yeah, my 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 birthday was a fantastic day, which I then spent. I took you out to lunch, so you it took started me out to lunch, pretty it was good. Lovely. The other two buggered off. They didn't even they weren't interested in your birthday. Yeah, but uh, that was nice. First first pub lunch in uh, oh, in, oh, a, in a long time. Yeah. What I told everybody about Ian's birthday two years ago, and oh, yeah, you're still you organised to be away. Uh, yeah, Richard that's because you. Um, it's my dad's birthday that you've stolen, and your dad was there first, probably. Yeah, so it, I, yeah, it was my dad's birthday. That's quite I mean. You made your choice. That's <laughs> all right. Nobody <laughs> shares my birthday. Like some yeah. shares. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, my my. You're a no. My birth, my you're a bit no, but you're a no. My my birthday was uh, punctuated. Rather rudely at four o'clock by a phone call from my other half, um, mm -hmm. who had broken down in the middle of the village I live in, uh, couldn't get the car to start again, and uh, yeah, timing chain went on the Audi. Yeah, and uh, just, so just let's, great. let's just review, James. Uh, how old is your current daily driver? Uh, well, the, the uh, take the example of, of the five twenty. Oh. Well, because you've been cruising around in that. Yeah, that's and that is on a timing chain. That yeah. is a ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. So, so twenty five years old. Twenty five years old. How, how is your timing chain? Uh, German. Okay, uh, my. Hang on, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no German because Ian's is Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because mine, uh, mine's also German. And my, my V eight is a daily driver, and it's a nineteen ninety nine car, so it's twenty two years old. 
and my time in chambers is pretty good. So, uh, Ian, you're, you're, hang on a minute, isn't yours on a belt? Uh, no, mine's a chain. Can, can, we, valve. can we run another little survey here? Um, hands up, everybody in this room who has ever broken a timing belt or chain in one of my cars. I haven't. It was an auxiliary. It was an auxiliary, and I didn't bloody break it. No, it no, no, no. You've already admitted there. to it by by answering the question in the first place. Anyway, yes. So that was that was my birthday evening. Um, Treat. While away waiting for RAC to come and collect the car on a really funky little uh, job they got in the back of it now. Oh uh, yeah. Because they've they've had the little fold out jobby for a while, which is great for um, two wheel drive cars. Two wheel drive. But yours cars. is a Quattro. Yes. A real one. An actual one. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Originally, no. I thought you were cheating with your Haldaxi, but no, it's not. It's Torsen. Um, Torsen. Torsen. Um, uh, but yeah, no, you uh, fold, folded down out the back, went underneath the front wheels, then brought out a pair of skates for the back wheels, lifted them off the ground. It took about 45 minutes to get it off the ground, two minutes to drive it down the road to Works Car Park, mm-hmm. and then another 45 minutes to take it apart. Um, he was an owl, I think. He had that permanent surprise face that Roy Hodgson has. Well, I was just surprised you found it with an 11 year old German that's broken down, I suppose. Mm. Um, yeah, so from there, I procrastinated for several weeks and decided <laughs> instead to drive the Renault about. I researched various options of having a complete rebuild to frankly get the pistons, piston rings finally sorted out on it mm-hmm. and everything. Ended up sending it to a garage up the road last week just to have, have a look at it because whilst Audi very kindly agreed to have a look at it for £60 I, I knew that the outcome would be oh and he's replaced the entire engine for £8,000 <laughs> because that's the Audi way you need to buy a new uh, A5 let's just uh, talk about the elephant in the room here mm-hmm. um, so this is the Sorry, CN <laughs> this, is a, this is the Audi CNDC CNDC engine this is the EA triple eight that followed on from the belt and belt and chain driven EA one one three. It has a known fault, and I'm going to say this publicly mm. because there was a group action lawsuit in America that was settled. Yep. Yet because it's Europe, they just want we to push it under the carpet. Actions. So the chain tensioner is hydraulically driven. The mesh filter on the back of it was inadequate. Allows stuff to get into the tensioner. Tensioner slackens off jumps teeth, blows the engine, writes cars off, yet Audi Kicks UK me in the testicles. Audi UK oh. still don't want to acknowledge the fact that this is a known issue and they don't want to do anything with goodwill or such things like that. They and were right to shocking. owners to say that it's a thing and maybe come and have it checked, but there have been stories of people arguing for three months and then if as long as the car's under 100,000 miles and has only ever been to Audi for servicing, that maybe just maybe yours has. they will. Yeah, yours has. Un- no, but it's not under 100,000 miles. So it clocked over to 102,000 miles. Yeah, yes. but it has got full Audi service history and has had all yeah. of its recalls done from new mm-hmm. and the timing chain failed, reverting us back to the original conversation. Yeah, your ninety nine Audi has got a chain on it that has been on it from new. My ninety five BMW has got a chain on it which has been on there from new. Which is probably an option. And the extra. hardship, the hardship. I mean, Ian, you've had to you, you're having to ride a thirty something year old Frenchie. Well, my my alternative um, transport options are I, in in order of age a uh, two thousand and fourteen Renault Capture, which. Frankly, if you want me Which to shoot you, I can go and I, 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 I bring my 410 and we can, it can make it painless and, you know. But it's not actually my car, it's my other half's car and she actually needs it to get from A to B, so... He only mm. says this when he's trying to be cool. Yeah. It's a yeah. shared car. It's a shared car. It also it's has some pneumatic issues, doesn't it? Which but have now been fixed. Oh yeah, it had some leaky tyres, but yeah, that's fine because the look, par- I took it up to have the um, to have the tyres looked at by the guys that installed it. Lots of people are looking at your cars. You just present I know, it and yeah. here it is. Look at it and then they've always got that strange, confused look on their face, sort of slightly scrunched up. Well, it is siren tester. You but need you know, at least you know, one eye in the right You know, on new tyres where you have the little uh, bits that stick out. Yes, their excuse was that one of those bits had got caught in exactly the same place on both tyres, and that's what l- letting it down. Like. You're lying. I don't care because you've just fixed it for free. But what you've done is put some bead sealer on the inside because you didn't check for corrosion first. But why yeah. lie about something? And that's like all that? it needed doing. Yeah. That's literally why Ian took it there to have some bead sealer put on and the tires yeah. reseated. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You see these things? It must have got caught inside. Like, just Basically, right. when we was fitting the tires, we uh, were pissed. It had just settled and it pushed the tire off the bead and that's why they're going down. Yeah. Yeah. And Back I, to the Audi. Oh no, no. So we were on my, the list of cars. The list of cars. So it's, the, it's the alternatives. Badly. Okay, the alternatives are a uh, 2002 MGTF, which I bought for the John Delu uh, roof video. Yes, and which still you, hadn't bothered moving on. 
Yes, and that was because before you fixed the new clutch. He uh, does like it. He, you, well, you've had your fingers in a middle bit. No, we've all used day that long. for so many little test things now, um, like the Osram test on the bumper. That's not a single one of them was a road bumper. test. No, no, no we, we, no, we didn't do that. We need to do a flammability test on polishing compounds next week, so we can perhaps, you know, do something yeah, like we that. We put it on your driveway. No, because that's far too much oil on that. <laughs> that's that's a liability. <laughs> You're damn crazy. Stuff. Your dad had something to do with Belties. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, not about oil spills. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the, the the MG, which you know, in, in its day was a perfectly no, it was rubbish. No, it was day. I moved um, it, and I could barely fit in it. I'm an average sized human no, being. I do not know. You're not average. I am average. Everyone under six foot three and a bit is frankly smurfy and everybody your over body is average, but your legs are freakishly long no 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 no. it's the other way around my legs i've got a 33 inch inside leg but then somehow i get to what's six the other one <laughs> the other one's partly steel actually you go um, around in circles <laughs> yeah it does it's the story of my life but no it's my body so when i sit in a seat my head hits the top of the car i drive 60s convertibles That's, you, no you just, it doesn't do it in the mg because you just take the roof off yeah, that's great until it rains or you don't want the roof off. Or someone puts Birmingham a piano or wire across the road at just the right... Oh, oh uh, Yeah, so, I mean, that would have been an option, but I needed to get the, clu- the slippy clutch. Oh, slippy oh, no, clutch, yeah. not self-esteem. No, no, I, it, it passed its MOT somehow. Um, yeah, we won't, it will, we won't talk about what we saw today. Yeah, don't no. ever go underneath your own wow, car. Jesus. I think we're going to use a new MOT station. No, no, I'm, well, car- I'm still actually, using that MOT yeah. station. <laughs> yeah, I, I need, I need, need, I need the little victories. <laughs> I need them to reimagine a cat. But no, so I need to get the slippy clutch done, so I end up getting that done at Mr. Clutch, who, to yeah, be fair, them, did Clutch. it decent, decent price. Uh, yeah, we have to be Mr. Clutch Swindon, because... Got franchise. And Lots most of, of the angry, got very, very, very angry people. Very angry <laughs> European voices coming out of that workshop. Mm. Really? Oh yeah! Wow. Well, it was, say, it, it was, was only it? after I dropped the MG off. <laughs> well, I came in and you two were both under the TF, swearing like sailors. It was ridiculous. And you were asking for I've never heard this term before. A wobbler. Wobble socket. A wobble, a wobble extension. So- yeah, wobble extension. Yeah, it, I, I stood back. I didn't know if it was sort of platonic or not. But yeah, that's out of your remake. That's like it is that's like man talk. That stuff. Yeah, no, I don't do that sort of man talk, no. Anyway, so we've covered that. We've got so no, 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 I haven't covered that because oh, um, that, that was fixed last week and when I went to pick it up, it was great and they put a new um, a new seal on the drive shaft yeah. as well. Output which, seal. Which fair, fair enough, nice of them. They said, oh, one, one thing, um, the, the exhaust is blowing a bit from the flexi now. Uh, okay, fair enough. They yeah. didn't say now, they just said... It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. you got a bit, a bit of a blow. So basically, what they did is a little bit of a bit th- of a noise. We think they might have lowered the engine down with the exhaust attached. Yeah, because uh-huh. you, you have to lower the, lower it down slightly just so you can get just enough room to put the um, put the new clutch in. Yeah. Uh, got in the car and someone had turned it into a race car. Well, not true. Someone no, turned it, it to it sound like a race sounded car. Sounded like a... It's still not it, true. No. It sounded like somebody blowing it, raspberries inside an empty did, dustbin. Below, yeah. below 2,000 RPM, it did sound like a wet fart. Above 2,000 RPM, it sounded glorious. Glorious and subjective. Yeah, yeah, no. Subjective. It was, it was much, much freer. I can't wait to show you my flat six. That or with my, with my Raptor headers on, that's, that's going to be in there for... Mine's got headers just, off a motorbike. They're, well, no, they're made in Australia. Different story. It's Australian Raptor headers on a Legacy EZ30R. Oh, so with a Miltec three-inch back. We anyway. I'm so sorry. yeah, just a, just a pleasant forty-five minutes. Or so sticking your downpipe with flexi on. It's more than so now minutes. the 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 MG is technically good to go, and I can use it. Although unfortunately, I've then found out that MG engineers have told me you cannot put a child seat in an MG. Well, that's for whatever reason. You can't put a child. Tri- yeah, you can't actually put a child in there. It's not safe. They didn't build it for children to sit. I'm at not this sure point, you can't return the M- return the MG. So, can you return the child? I'm not sure if that says more about the engineering <laughs> or the type of people that normally own MGs. No comment. My neighbour's redoing one. I've got to be nice. Turns out he listens to the podcast. Is he allowed near kids? I don't know. Probably. Mm. Maybe. I mean, it's Bert. Well, no, no I, I, we know self, I, I self removed myself. But yeah, the, the top and bottom me. is Ian's basically been driving to work and back like a, a Parisian middle aged man without yes. the cigarettes. Yes, yeah, so uh, <laughs> then I took up uh, the mantle of using the Renault 5 as the yes. most child friendly car. Um, the car that we were supposed to have enough. sold months ago. I'm not sure I was a ever. Bit to be fair, no, 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 no. Let's not pin the lack of sale on me. Let's pin that on the fact that you cannot order a bloody drive shaft yes. to save your life. Yes. That's true, and Brexit. <laughs> I'm not sure I can feel But yeah, no, so the, the Renault driving around in a you know, 
classic Renault sounds ideal. Mm. It's great for two days. Mm. After that, wears a little bit thin. I've already lost a hubcap. Yep, that was a sad day, wasn't it? Yeah, it did clatter out on me uh, in the middle of the village uh, when I was on my way into work because apparently the choke, you can't use full choke on it because it then floods the engine on, on Yes, on but you can't one. put the choke right in either, can you? No. So, uh, so you, you have to you have to find a very fine point, which I've now perfected the art of. I mean, no, but it doesn't flood it at you a. Perfected uh, the art of choking a French. See, yeah, what we need to do is we need to get it on a sun diagnostics machine and dial in that carburetor. Oh, show me age there. Yeah, yeah, I've read about that. Color tune, get a color no, tune. So I it. managed to basically flood the engine in front of the lollipop lady at eight thirty in the morning as. Uh, That's not road technically the report she gave to the a police. Stupid car parked on the uh, the opposite side of the road, so I was basically holding up traffic. I ended up having to bump it over to the side of the road on the starter motor, which probably not great for it, no. but nah, especially nah. when the the key doesn't bounce back from <laughs> from the starter <laughs> position anyway. Why don't you just drive it to work like that then? No, it didn't actually start. It just, no, no, but you just, just get bounced. it here on the start motor. Well, no, I managed to uh, I leave it for a couple of minutes, let it drain out a little bit, got it started, zoomed across the road into in front of the shops, let it chill and managed to get it. But it has actually been, since then, almost trouble-free. Mm. Which is good going. It's yeah. a bit misfiring before. It's It does sound... It's farty. Quite, yeah. There's quite a lot of smoke. But once it, I followed once it you back. Up, it's fine. And in a non-creepy way, I followed you back uh, the, the week or two ago, and there was there was lots of smoke, and then the hazards came on. Yeah, and the, the, I I did struggle to. Uh, that was before you got exactly, your It was exactly the same issue again. Yeah. It was just flooding. Yeah, yeah. But so now you've got your choking down to a fine tune. Yeah, so now now I'm cho- I'm choking it perfectly. It's choking perfectly. Yeah. yeah. So um, I've been making this really yeah. dark joke about choking a French. <laughs> anyway, never mind. I just I, I hope there's somebody out there who gets it. Um, I'm not sure you but, want anyone to but, get it. No. Regardless, with a bit of luck after the phone call, I've just had a week or so, and the Audi should be back, and I can get rid of a BMW instead. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, we're talking. Because <laughs> I nearly, I was so close the other day to leasing a three-year-old M240, and that's a conversation that I don't want to revisit because I just get angry. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty I, sad I, that I, situation. I came into the office, and bear in mind that we all own our cars. None of our cars are, are financed for anything, and they're mostly old. I mean, Ian's is the youngest, and even that's 10, 12 years old. Um, and I walked in the office, and Ian was getting a, a finance deal on an M140 BMW, which I knew, 240, 240, whatever. I knew that was going to get James aroused, and he'd feel like he won. And then, lo and behold, James was looking into similar deals on exciting modern cars. You were looking at the Cooper, weren't you, Fermentor? Well, I went to, well, I actually really. went, uh, I was supposed to book a test drive, but I went to look at the Cooper Fermentor, which looks like a mini Lamborghini Urus. It's like Does a cool, sort of stunning. aggressive mm. little crossover thing. But they do it in a 1.5. Which so is they do a 1.5 TSI, and that's kind of where we were looking. But then I got drawn in by a lease deal on a uh, EA888 Evo, um, 310 horsepower, 2-litre turbo, Golf R running mm-hmm. gear, mm-hmm. and uh, actually ended up going to a Cooper dealership, which there is down the road, and sitting in it and... God, I bet kind of still want it. Customer. And Stephen, uh, Stephen is calling it. you the whole time, isn't he? Stephen, the salesman. I think he is called is Stephen, Stephen, actually. Yeah, probably uh, sounds... Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. It was either that or I was looking at a used car lease with the same company that Ian was looking at and they had a... Fire engine. A, 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 X Fire <laughs> Service red Golf R wagon. And I kind X of... Fire Service? No, I was joking. Just, it looks no, like it. It, would, um, it. Once you put the stickers on, though, it would be fire. <laughs> and I was, you I mean, was once you put the stickers on? Yeah. No, no, I was going to put, I was gonna put fluoro stickers on it. Um, that, may, that may even still happen. I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air. I, you know, my other half... It makes more sense to get a BMW of some sort, really. And we have been looking at BMWs as well, newer mm. ones. We'll see. Uh, the reason this came about, though, onto our car news... Uh, one of the local residents decided to reverse into the side of our five series. Yes, rip. Which local resident? You don't know because well, we do take, know. We do know. Of a driving license. We do know who did it. We've got her name, and it turns out that uh, thirteen months ago she was banned from driving for drink driving, um, and offer of the four is oh. still open. Well, she seemed pretty hammered when she did it. Carry on driving, you can't get do- banned again. Mm, but oh. the problem we've got is that her insurer is also our insurer. And they can't get a hold of her. She's just ignoring them. How do you find out that she somewhere? was banned? Oh, my other half's like the FBI, mate. Oh, okay. She knows everything about all of you lot. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. 
So yeah, we're getting rid of that. I think Skoda's going to go. She thinks she knows my real name. <laughs> <laughs> so do you. <laughs> I think the... Uh, she wants to receive the pictures I sent her. <laughs> so I think I'm going to... So over the weekend, I'm going to do some bits on the Scud missile. I might even put the brakes on it that needed doing six months ago. And then... Needed. Uh, well, I don't need them. I'm still driving yeah. it. So I think I'm going to put that on for sale. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the Scud. Uh, E61, I assume, is going off to the graveyard in the sky. Because mm-hmm. uh, they said if they're going to, if they'd write it off. I d- well, they kind of implied because it's, uh, you know, some. What's a new door? What well, the, o- well, the, 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 the owner, damage isn't terrible. The owner of the it? cars, the owner of the car, has insisted on getting a brand new BMW door. So, um, mm-hmm. f- unfortunately, it looks like it's getting rid off. Mm. And fitted by BMW techs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's going. Skoda's With BMW going. white grease. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> um, but on better news, the E34 is driving like an absolute dream, and mm. I'm going to take it home today because it's Friday. I, pull, I pulled it out the workshop the other day, drove it home to the car park. Oh, it's it, it, do, it does. Oh, it's so nice. It does purr nicely, isn't it? Oh, it's so smooth and quiet. Done and the roof on your other one yet? Give me the sunny weather. Have you, have you done that yet? The roof might you ordered on the E36. Ago. You know the, the one E36. that's out there. Just the that. one, the one that you. That's that your car, right? The one, that, the broken roof. Have you done? Have we done it yet? Sorted it. Finished. I mean, because the sun's shining. Yeah, no I mean, pressure. You could, you, could, you could take the roof down on that. And you know, the British there. summer was today, which means you've got a whole, you know, year or two to wait until the next one. No. Sore point. Sore point. Okay. I mean, you know, I could do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but, but will you? I could. It's, uh, so, but do, what's going on with no, your car? I, yeah, I know. I do. I do. I do actually need to get that done. I do need to get it done um, because well, you, did, you did all of the parts all the way from America. I did, fair. and they took weeks to get here, and I was moaning about how long they took to get here, and then they've been in my bag for six months. Um, yeah, and also we've got a convertible E36 outside the front of the unit. It's not. It's the number of people knocking the door asking for half a gram. It's ridiculous. I mean, I only do fulls, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Subaruville. What the hell's going on there? Nothing. It's all peaceful. All good. Well, I mean, you know, Uncrushable 2. Well, so I broke oh, sorry, Uncrushable sorry. 2. I've renamed it Uncrushable 2. <laughs> Uncru- hey, that's clever. Yeah, it's so ironic because it's going to be crushed. It so is ironic. We, we, we Are we going to go with it to get crushed? It, no, it's not. No, the shell's gone. It's going to be make another car. What? Yeah. From another what? written-off Subaru. They, they bought the shell off me, and they're putting all the juicy They know that they the had. shell was made out of three already, don't they? No, and it wasn't. But I did. I, it's not and, true. And actually, when we took everything I've off, seen the, the world really marks rusting away. I've seen the world marks. Yeah, there no, was a reason why it had been resprayed inside. It's not inside. a cut and shut. It's not a cut and shut. It just had a, a kissed a roundabout. Um, but the so that's gone. Although rather worryingly today, a very wide chap came on a long wheelbase transit double cab pickup tipper thing and said, "Did you like dogs?" I didn't get that far with him. He pointed at the EJ two hundred eight engine I've got did sat he on the Bryn? driveway. Did he see Bryn? Dogs weren't there. <sighs> right. Mm. Like no jokes, yeah. I don't. When I was a bit nervous because he pointed at the engine and said, "Is that scrap?" He then pointed at the doors that I all cleaned up, ready for sale. And Are you sure he wasn't pointing at the other Subaru? No, saying no. is that crap. Hang on, Hang. <laughs> did you Stop buy interrupting that? Interrupting me, did and you I really make buy it. it? Yeah, <laughs> and he pointed at the doors which are all ready for sale, and he said, "Is that scrap?" I was like, "No," and he said, "Well." I'll be back. So if you do want to scrap anything, and I'm sitting there thinking, right, I'm very glad I've got six CCTV cameras that cover the front entrance. Um, of your house or someone else's? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're interested, you've got about five gallons of uh, used oil on your driveway. Uh, it's just spread out a little bit. No, I've, I've also got about 20 litres of it in a, in a tub that's labelled coolant when it's not coolant. Um, but, yeah, so... How that, could that ever go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Um, and then for uh, TJ, the, the new one, I've uh, got Who? the wheels back. TJ, I'm calling it TJ at the moment. Short for Todger. TJ Hooker? No, because the number plate is Bravo Gov 07 Tango Juliet X-Ray. And I'm glad so you just told everyone that. Yeah. Clone right. it your free will. Yeah, yeah. If you it's happen a spec B, three litre, three litre flat six. Newport Blue. Newport Blue. Uh, mostly. You have to have by Rotogra wheels. Mostly. Registered, registered, mostly, yes, registered address is <laughs> the, 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 the Swindon. <laughs> Um, in Wiltshire and uh, yeah got the wheels back from Platinum Alloys and they've done a nice job high power silver lovely looking wheels what wheels s- are on it? they are rotogras are they genuine rotors? they are genuine rotogras ah. and I've got genuine rotogra centre caps because they're a funny size and I ordered off rotor and they didn't send them didn't get back to my email didn't do anything and why I didn't launched you just, a case against them in why PayPal you just them. Speak so to furious I, I, because I didn't know should I talk to Driftworks? yeah 
Okay, well now I know. But anyway, right. it, it's a moot point because I managed to get some some centre caps that are that are on there now. So that's good. And I've got the suspension coming back from AST next week. I've got a shipment coming in from Japan with STI rear arms. And so you've got the rear quarter done then, yeah? No, I'm leaving the paint to last, which is what we all seem to do with our cars. That's a effing low blow, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it was. It was. I half assedly painted the MG before I got anything else fixed. Ah, but yeah, the, Ren the Renault sills then the are mainly. The police turned up and said you should be fully clothed. The Renault uh, sills are mainly just bare, bare filler at the moment. No, it's not bare filler. It's just a skim on the top of a weld. But there's something you guys. I meant don't bare know. is in naked, not bare oh. is in lots of. What, what what's going to be interesting though is my interest is having owned old Subarus. I know they rust. So this being not an old Subaru, it's only 14 years old. I'm taking as much rust prevention as possible. So when the new coilovers get back, I'm putting socks on them because apparently that's a good thing to no. do. No, worst thing in the world. Mm. I've talked to so many people. Worst thing in the world because it holds the moisture inside the socks. Okay, how do you protect a coilover? You put Gore -Tex. A ACF you Gore -Tex 50 socks on there. <laughs> Well, I've got what's interesting. Like, ACF 50. We've got yeah. some downstairs. Okay. Well, one thing I have got, I've got some of the built Hamber. No, ACF 50. Or use that stuff that that guy uses on his Defender on the Facebook adverts with that mask on. Yep. Big That's lung full of that. That'll see you right. Yeah. Brilliant. Waterproof your insides. Well, I've got a lot of arms as well. I've got STI arms that need protecting as well. Are so, they pink? Uh, they have pink STI logos on, but they're otherwise black. Um, and I'm looking for a trailing Honestly, arm. I wish I had a website that just sold tat that I could just promote to you. No. You and Rich. Rich no. will buy anything that's Chinese and looks adventury. This isn't Chinese. This is Super Technica International, genuine. International, clues in the name. It's made in China. Uh, no, it's made in Japan. Why is it international then? Because it's for, for Subarus all around the world, because we're happy, caring, sharing lesbians. You can't maybe maybe they had an outlet in Canada. Hey. What? <laughs> Canada no, they're a. brilliant and they're lovely, and 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 so it's there. And I've, anyway, what do they do? Do they make the red quarter shiny? No, not interested. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's coming along nicely. And I've got one vlog I've done, but it's not released yet because it'll come out after the magazine. And I've got to take I out the seats. I must remind myself not to watch that. Yeah, you do that. I'll I'll help you. I might um, start my own vlog. We'll go head to head. Yeah. We'll have a we'll have a, a vlog influencer off. off. A vlog off. I'll do one about my uh, misadventures. It'll just be me playing classical music, driving my reliable 5 Series through the countryside with People no horrible noises that. going that's, on. That's Genesis you're talking about. <laughs> well, he's exactly yeah, what's in my CD yeah. player. Yeah. CDs, by the way, for the kids listening. They're a format of digitally recorded music on a plastic disc that you put in a player. I've read about them. Yeah. Oh, I miss cassette players. I Do you? Never had you drive a, one, don't you? I, <laughs> I never had a mini disc. They were the latest. I did. I, had. Mini disc. I did. Yeah, I, I never owned disc. one. I, I love friends with them. They're really expensive to get now because mm. it's the higher. So the sound quality of a mini disc is better than MP4. Okay, if you say so. Which but considering most mini discs were full of MP4 players. I'll send you the article. There's an article of, of an audio file, he calls himself. Right. And he does comparisons between. Uh, That's a good sort of file. Was his name Peter? Yeah, he does a. Sound quality comparison between vinyl, cassette, CD, um, mini disc, and then goes on to the digital versions. Mm. And mini disc, com mini disc, Is mini comes disc out top. Analog. Or I, I presume a mini disc mini was disc digital. digital. I thought it was digital. Yeah, it's digital. Yeah, it's, not, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a mini CD. It's not. Yeah. But the because it was all recorded. Because they were what I can't remember what format they are, but it's to do with the read write no, speed you, of you, them. You stick MP3 onto them. Yeah, but you can exceed it. So if you get like the um, studio albums, like the Sony recorded ones, the sound quality of those is higher than MP4. And actually, recording studios and theatres. I used to work backstage at theatres, and they would always record things on M on mini discs. It was mm. considered to be the, the go-to. Would you remember they had an optical in and an optical out before I'd ever seen it before? Yeah. I so my that. my mini I had a recordable mini disc. Yeah. Um, which was like three birthday presents rolled into one. Yes. And uh, yeah, it had an optical in. Very it's cool. insane. Mm. I've never seen it before. So, um, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up car news, is that uh, it's been eventful and emotional, and for once, it's <laughs> not been my and cars not, causing the trouble. And not resolved. <laughs> and not resolved. It's an ongoing yeah. saga. Um, but, yeah, no, keep an eye but out we'll for We'll see which car I bring down next week when we... Bring down we what, emotionally? Or? Oh, no, down to, down to, uh, down to your calf. Down to, yes. For, for Kelly. Uh, yes, next Not Friday. Is it next Friday or it the is Friday next after? Yeah. No, next it's next Friday. Friday. Next Friday. I am going to bring the yes, old girl. You'll bring the old girl. I am going to cool. bring the old girl. I might it's on street parking. I might anyway, can Kelly bring his paint shop and do me rear bumper and boot lid? I don't know. Kelly's probably going to come in his McLaren and make us all feel very poor. But he might come in his van. He might come in his van. Be fair, he can come in a and still make us feel he very would, poor. Yeah, he can come in a Ford yeah. one day and still make us very poor. <laughs> <laughs> has he got a, is, he, is his 355 still a thing? 
No, he sold that and bought a Lambo, and then he sold that and he's bought a McLaren. God, imagine what, the green Lambo's gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's sad. what funded the McLaren. Imagine earning well, money from cleaning cars. God, imagine being successful at it. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, that is the plot, and uh, we all hope you are very well. We shall uh, come back into your ears very soon, I hope. Mm-hmm.